Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Now we've arrived at a new location, which isn't looking all that pretty. There's a couple dudes back here that I was going to talk to, though. I kinda skipped by him because we were running out of time. What might this tool be, I wonder? Moles? Kusa Village, near the giant windmill. Well, I'll talk to him in a second. First thing I want to do is take a gander out this way. I don't actually see... There it is. Kusa Village, up by the giant windmill. So that's in the Cursed Zone, too. Okay, now, he actually had something else to say, so let's go finish talking to him. We're all kind of stuck here until we can get rid of that Cursed Zone. Sure, what do you got? Feed bags, stuff I'll probably never use. How am I looking on feed bags? Now, uh, let's see here. As we go into this area, there's uh, probably going to be a good amount of mythology in this new area here. In fact, there's something that we covered last time, if you remember the Spider Queen, the giant boss we fought last time. Now, I knew she was a reference to something, but honestly, I didn't know what. So, much thanks to Stabby, who posted in the forums, saying that uh, the Spider Queen was a reference to Jorogumo. It's kind of a spider woman type thing. A spider demon who would go along and, hey, a thing we can blow up, would generally try to, um, I guess you could say, seduce men and then eat them or some such. I've never really seen her portrayed nicely. It's generally a pretty malevolent being. And I'd like to say more... But the half-baked prophet is back. That's right, he did say something about that, didn't he? So his prophecies, as half-baked as they may be, are actually true. Yeah, how about that? 
Oi. Asked you a question. Ah, uh, for your fragging. Clumsy? I like to think I did rather well in that fight, to be honest. Granted, I kind of missed jumping on the thing at the one point, so that kind of lost me a couple hits, but still. <laughs> Through guts and tenacity. I don't like you, Waka. I like you even less. Now this fight is actually a whole lot like the previous fight with Waka. Only we have ground. He'll throw swords, you can knock the swords back. The only difference is, um, one, you're probably gonna stab that thing like I just did. But, you'll notice he has a very, very large health bar. So we're probably gonna be here a little while. I'm actually hitting him with a slash at the end of the combo <laughs> to try and get some little bit extra damage in. The fight's not that hard overall. Yee, but I'm trying to wait and get a little bit of ink back, which would be very nice. So slash him once. And then I'll just get the four hits in, as opposed to putting the slash at the end, because I'd like to get the fight going faster, but I'd also like not to run out of ink. And for good measure, and then you run. Now, as usual, if you get close to him, he starts comboing you, and things get ba things go bad quick. I suppose you can try to... Can I hit that? Yes. I suppose you could try to block his combo, but I've never had much luck with it. So... yeah. I'm just gonna stay back here... and keep hacking at him. Keep my distance from him. And wear him down, and he'll go down eventually. And that was a bad move! Why did I try to go for the fifth hit? What is wrong with me? Man, these attacks do no damage. The other weapons don't really help much either. In fact, this is probably the best weapon for this job, if that tells you anything. Aha! Uh, yes. Yeah, we went there. We couldn't go in. Barrier and whatnot. Ooh, dang. Well, we knew he was alive and well, but now we know he's just sitting there at home building up his power. We don't know how long at this point before he just decides to come out and blow everything up. And at this point, I don't think there's much stopping him. 
If I did, I'd be fighting Orochi right now. That's a good question, actually. Mumble, mumble me, you tell me about this windmill. I want to know about it. Dang. Okay, it's gonna be a quest. It's gonna be hard. And apparently it's gonna involve dogs. Because that was a horrible pun. And all horrible puns imply dogs. I said I was gonna go through the text faster, but uh, some cutscene text like this, you can't speed up, so... Heck yeah! More brush techniques! Well, this was the only place we could go. Hey, I didn't do all that horrible on time. Good for me. Now, where was I going? Well, this was the only place we could really go, so I guess we're uh, still going this way. Now then, about the Spider Queen, as I was mentioning. Um, there's a tale about her and a river. Well, there's not much we can do about fire right now. But there was a tale about her, um, specifically, residing in a river near a waterfall where she, uh, pulled not a small number of people to their death. Um, a couple people so much as fell in love with her, and even then, it, she's still trying to kill them. And trees! Good for me. I'll get these couple little trees here while I'm here. Now that I think about it, there was a pretty big waterfall and river and whatnot in the last dungeon, so I suppose that makes sense as well. Not much more to that story, actually, but um, kind of interesting nonetheless. GIANT BRUSH! Yay! And did we really need to make it? Not really. Because we found the sapling! So... Blue! 